well, this movie was definitely my cup of tea. <laughs> Yeah. A movie about exploitation films I know, right? during the Video Nasties era in the early 1980s, made by someone who definitely knows their shit. <laughs> yeah. As, as, far, as far as these movies go, this is a movie called Censor that is taking place around 82 uh, during the height of the Video Nasties hysteria. And the main character is a censor who is given this new movie to look over which is starting to mirror different things in her past that being the the disappearance of her sister so it becomes this mystery where she doesn't know who the person is who made this movie if they maybe happen to know where her, where her sister is if an actress that this person uses is her sister but what i like about what's going on here is i was watching it looking at these this business in the film, these censors mm -hmm. that <laughs> I, I used to always think I go like, man, I hate those stupid dumbass censors all like cutting stuff out of my horror movies and stuff. Yeah. When I watch this movie where they're just sitting there, just watching it, like just taking notes on these movies, different parts and extreme things that happen in them. I'm actually sitting there watching this going like, you know, really, my job's not that much different than what, the, <laughs> <laughs> than what these people are doing in this film. That's why I suggested you should do this for a snob episode. This would be I don't great. know if I'd do it as a snob episode, but, I mean, you could argue that the lead character in this movie, who has similar glasses to the cinema snob, <laughs> yeah. could be the snob's mom, perhaps. <laughs> We've never seen uh, the Cinema Snob's mom pop up on, on the show at all. My mom's been in videos before. We haven't seen the Cinema Snob's mom yet. Maybe she was a censor during the... Uh, that could explain his bitterness. <laughs> and why he's good at sitting there taking notes. I kind of like that these characters in the movie, like, it's just sort of their job. Right. Like, they're just sitting there writing their notes. Like, like they're a jury about <laughs> right. movies. And right. they're sitting there, like, chain-smoking. They're like, what do we do with this movie? I don't know, just cut out the eye gouging part, I guess. <laughs> and their office is equipped with a theater. <laughs> yeah, that looked like it was loaned out to shoot scenes in Cannibal Holocaust. <laughs> and uh, so, and even I'm usually, when I'm taking my notes on some exploitation movie that I'm watching for the show, even I'm like... Well, I can't show the eye gouging on YouTube. I can't show this on YouTube. Once upon a time, I could have. But I can't really show that. Can't linger too much on that. I'm actually sort of uh, sympathizing with these characters in the movie a little bit. So, so like, bravo. I've never done that like in a movie that's about film censors before. And I like, I mean, I like, I like movies that are kind of about a genre and then over yeah. the course of it start turning into that genre and yeah. that's what this movie does where mm -hmm. over the course of it it starts becoming like this exploitation movie right down to the aspect ratio kind of shrinking sure, yeah. in the last in the last act of it yeah and it was cool that i mean it's showing um it's showing real movies especially during the opening credits where mm -hmm. it's got a driller killer and uh, I think Frightmare was in there but it also does like fake movies within the movie and I've seen movies before where that'll happen and you can usually kind of tell where it's like well that wasn't made like 30 years ago mm. in this no I thought they did a pretty good job of mimicking how something like that would look if it was made in the late 70s early 1980s yeah Especially how they're lighting some characters' eyes during these scenes. Yeah. Like, it, it does, like, even the mystery itself, which is like, don't look now, cross with like hardcore 8mm and a censorship board. <laughs> so I was digging it. And the more it goes in this movie, the more it starts getting lit like movies that she's watching. Mm hmm. Like, it starts sort of looking like something like New York Ripper or Maniac. Even some other things are going on in this movie that's starting to be more dangerous to her life that do are... It is really showing what the hysteria... Or it's playing off of what the hysteria was kind of like during that time. Yeah. Where 
there's a mass murder that happens in the movie and the killer is saying it's because of the movie deranged so the censors start getting threatening phone calls saying like you let this movie through because right. of because of the movie deranged now i've seen deranged before so the only thing that movie inspired me to do was to go to a very shady psychic <laughs> really i should show you that movie sometime it's got this batshit psychic scene in the movie it's inspired the movie's inspired off of uh the ed gein case okay and the killer in the movie is uh oh what's it robert's uh so oh, wait, bad. you I'll actually to it. so you actually went to a, a psychic? No, no, oh, I'm okay. kidding. I, I could now. I live across the street, <laughs> the street from it. The killer in the movie is the neighbor from Home Alone, that which makes it like extra kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> that they're like, oh my god, the, Buzz was right this whole time. That guy's a killer and he eats people. That's great. <laughs> you should see it. That's like, great. No, no, it's it, it it's cool. So. But because she, there were little things that I liked here, too, like how since it's taking place about 30 years ago, mm -hmm. she has to find out who this director is mm -hmm. and other things that he's made before. Yeah. But she can't go on the Internet right. to find this guy. <laughs> I made that joke. Yeah. Yeah. You pointed that out, too. <laughs> She's going on the Internet. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. So she has to go to the video store yeah. where certain video stores back then were, were keeping movies that were banned, but they were keeping them behind the counter. Yeah. And so she's got to like go into this video store and start dropping some knowledge about exploitation right, movies. Right. So the guy will like rent her movies by this director. <laughs> I really love this movie. I did. I'm curious. What do you think of it? Uh, you know, I, unlike you, I, I, I'm not really all that well versed in in the exploitation um, uh, genre, other yeah. than other than the few films that you've shown me um, that uh, that you know were shocking. But at the same time, you know, I you know I knew were were just movies, you know, yeah. and, and I and I did. I think uh, I think that maybe back then, and what drove the video nasties uh, crusade. Or yeah. campaign is is the thought is I think a lot of people were under the impression that these were like snuff films. That oh these yeah, were, it was you know, Cannibal Holocaust. They had to like pr the director had to prove those actors were still alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was some crazy shit that happened. Yeah. Then. So, um, so yeah, I think that that kind of drove this character to you know undergo this mystery because she was just like. You know, these filmmakers kidnap my uh, sister. It's like, and it's like, no. And she just starts getting so far gone in the movie that I don't want to give too much away, but you start getting in her head a lot more yeah. as the movie goes on. Again, yeah. like I said, with the aspect ratio of the movie shrinking mm -hmm. and also her jumping back and forth between tones like yeah. a horror film and also probably some happy jolly movie that she would rather be watching <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's some shit in this movie that gets creepy as hell uh -huh. and wildly haunting yeah. while being very bright and colorful about it too <laughs> like i don't want to give too much away i thought this movie had a hell of a climax <laughs> i was thinking uh towards the end of it i'm like man this would make a great music video <laughs> that was something cool that, like do you remember like at the beginning of the movie when she's there like with that other sensor dude who's smoking a cigarette yeah. and she's like i want to cut out the eye gouging he's like oh no you know it's like homer's odyssey and also like shakespeare <laughs> She's like, there's nothing Shakespeare about this. So I sort of like when her shit starts becoming an exploitation movie, it's really artsy. <laughs> like she would probably prefer it to be. <laughs> I thought this was entertaining. Very well made. Like you can tell that the people who made this, like they know these movies. They've lived with these movies yeah. for a long time. They know how they look. They know how they feel right down to the very, very, very little details, mm -hmm. especially with some other stuff that was going on in that era. I thought they made a really entertaining movie and a really creepy one at that. Like mm -hmm. I, I, I did, I, I really, really enjoyed the hell out of this. Again, like I said, it's definitely my cup of tea. Right. <laughs> like it is in my wheelhouse. Right. So if I didn't like it or just thought it was mediocre, like it'd be like, wow, they really fucked up. <laughs> but no, I, I loved it. That's I thought cool. they did a bad cool. job. With I, uh, yeah, like I said, I mean, I, 
I was entertained enough. Sure. Um, I like I said, I I think if if I was as big a fan of the genre as you are, I'd 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 be with you. I'd be like, oh yeah, man, this mm-hmm. this uh this movie was amazing. Um, but uh, you know, yeah, I thought it was okay. Did you like it better than In the Earth? <laughs> <laughs> you know something, and and I think and. Uh, a few of the scenes in the movies that they were reviewing uh, for censorship, I was wondering. I was like, you know, that kind of that kind of does remind me of In the Earth. <laughs> They're both very like art house hard. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, so I, I think I, I, I think I get why you really liked In the Earth. <laughs> I liked In the Earth. I liked this movie a lot better. Oh, did I, you? Oh, yeah. Okay. I thought this was. A, I, I did really like In the Earth. But at least I could see most of this movie and didn't have to <laughs> yeah. hide my eyes yeah. from all the strobing. I can vouch for about 70% of In the Earth. <laughs> so maybe it's because you, you were able to look at more of that movie than me. Whereas the bit that I saw I thought was perfectly fine. I think I gave In the Earth a B plus. This one I'd give an A. Really? I, yeah, I okay. thought this is, this is one of the best horror movies I've seen this year. I, it's on uh, on demand. I don't know if it's in theaters anywhere, but it is on on demand, and it's absolutely worth checking out. So yeah, I'd give it an A. Okay, I'll follow suit. Uh, just because I, You're like I said, uh, just because I don't, I don't know enough about it. Um, you know? <laughs> so I'm just like, all right, yeah, you say an A. All right, I'll agree. A. <laughs> you don't have. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, if anything, put an N in front of it. N A. <laughs> an N A. Um, I don't know. <laughs> from everything that you described about what you thought of the movie, because you you said you thought it was entertaining. Yeah. And you thought it was fairly like creepy and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have guessed like if, from everything that you told me. Like if you were to ask me what your grade would be, I'd guess the. The, what you were saying about it kind of falls in the B category. Oh, so I'm insisting that you. Okay. Change. No, I'm Fine. kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> B then. <laughs> Why didn't you do that when we reviewed In the Earth? Okay, because that one I was way more like I, I was m- way more uh, hell bent on it. I guess <laughs> I, I really did not like In the Earth as yeah. uh, that much. Uh, yeah. And I was just like, ah, In the Earth. You want to give bad. this movie an F? but you're afraid I'll be mad. No, 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 no. Legit. In your head, you're like C minus. Well, he loves it. <laughs> I don't know when his birthday is. It might be his birthday. I don't want to crush him. December. A. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah, see? Now when's my birthday? Uh, March. Oh, okay, okay, good, good. <laughs> That was a one in twelve chance that I just. <laughs> Today is my lucky day. <laughs> Why can't I be that good at the lottery? <laughs> no, I I, I, knew, I, knew. I I had a feeling it was March. I I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't a hundred percent sure, but I had a feeling it was March. I know so many people. My brain always defaults to like August whenever someone asks yeah. me because I know like several people whose birthday is in right. August. I, I, same with me in October. I yeah. know quite a few October people, and I'm just like, damn. <laughs> yeah, both of my parents are in August. My aunt is. Sarah is. Uh, Alex yeah. Shryock is. Um, yeah, like several people, and I know. Okay, I know Jared's not one of them. If it was <laughs> August, I would one hundred percent now. <laughs> uh, but no, I totally recommend this movie. Right on. Um, but we got one more, son. We got. Well, wait. I, I say we've got Fast Nine, but Fast Nine's going to be the review is going to be posted before the review oh. for this movie is. <laughs> we'll probably have seen twelve more movies by the time this. <laughs> Like I said, up. like I said, you're putting my brain through its paces right now, man. I, uh, and, and I didn't even think about that. I go like, hey, you want to watch together. some movies? And we watched four movies today. Uh, um, and I'm sh- either people realize that or they just think that we don't change our clothes in four <laughs> days. <laughs> I'm used to watching several movies in a day. And after the third movie, you're like, oh, shit, my brain's mush. I'm like, that's right. I forget people don't have my powers. <laughs> Of watching movies, especially exploitation movies. 
in a I, day. Let's see. Uh, I think Batman has to team up with a crazy Uber driver to find his sister, and they uh, and it's on VHS. Yeah, and and uh, somehow Vin Diesel and John Cena are involved. I, I and don't there's know. cars. And, yeah. <laughs> it's sponsored by Corona. <laughs> A glass of Corona. <laughs> I have to be more specific about that word nowadays. <laughs> All right, everyone, take care. <laughs>